Good morning everyone, good morning from Bangkok. I just wanted to do a little intro to the vlog here and just simply say that I really enjoyed making uh, the previous one, the first weekly Bangkok vlog. So I continued filming and look what happened. <laughs> we have another one, so let's just get into it, shall we? Welcome to the vlog fam, come spend another week living in Bangkok with me. Cute cool transition. This is going to be my first time riding the BTS. It only took me like two months of living in Bangkok. <laughs> showing me the classes in her gym the other day and I never seen anything like that they looked incredible so she got me a guest pass for a day so I can join her for one and that's where I'm heading now very exciting I'm kidding, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, I was just looking for a coffee. Where am I? What is happening? This is a lift. I'm doing some sightseeing today. I'm on my way to the Wat Arun temple. You can see it, it is right behind me over there. It is of course one of the most iconic landmarks of Bangkok and all of Thailand. I couldn't dare to miss it, so here we are. I just had my coffee ready to go, so let's just go grab a boat, cross the river and dive in. Tarun means the temple of the dawn and it is iconic because of all of these statues and details on the towers when you come close it is absolutely incredible it is busy but that's okay lots of people come here in traditional Thai costumes that you can hire outside the temple I actually think it's pretty cool and it is so beautiful like I'm sure the pictures look absolutely incredible
welcome back to where we started. And now let's finish it on a very laid back note. Today I have no plans, I have nowhere to be. To add to that, I intentionally don't have any plans. And this is actually a very important point here. I always try to remind myself to be more gentle and careful with my calendar, when possible of course, and leave space and days to just breathe. And this is very important to me. This is what helps to make sure I stay grounded and spend time with myself to process things that happened or the things that are coming up so I don't get overwhelmed or stuck in my head for any wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, just space to do all the things that make sure I show up for all the exciting and busy and hard days when they come. And one of these things is running. <laughs> What running does to my mind and body is absolutely incredible. I could go on a massive TED talk about how great running is for you here, <laughs> maybe some other time. But to keep it short, running is a constant for me. This is something that makes me feel good and strong. And this is what it's all about, just finding things that make you feel challenged, but good. Oh, hello there. What's up? Right, I think it's time to head home now. I've, I've been here for ages. It's also more than an hour walk, but that's all good. I feel great, I don't mind. And then when I come home, I'm gonna throw myself into the pool and it will feel incredible. Can't wait. <laughs> inspired but they have normal coffee too listening and learning a lot about Buddhist teachings and Buddha's life story lately. I'm really into it. A lot of Buddhist philosophy and teachings really resonate with me. I also just enjoyed the storytelling of Buddha's journey and his path and the service. Yeah, it's kind of my thing at the moment. Just learning all about it, taking it all in. I find it very rewarding. been a while <laughs> just gonna head home now don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else today really um, nothing stimulating this is it really so yeah cheers to you cheers to Bangkok and I'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.